you point out that in the 90s, Walmart emerged as the nation's largest employer, whereas it had been General Motors in, the 1970, in 1970. What is the significance of that? The shift from General Motors, the great automobile manufacturer, to Walmart, the retailer, as the largest employer in the country, which takes place in the, that shift is in the 1990s, symbolizes the way the whole economy is shifting toward a service economy, a retail economy, and the deindustrialization, the continuing decline of manufacturing uh, in the United States due to globalization, due to the shifting of jobs overseas in search of cheap labor, and uh, the increasing importation of uh, manufactured goods into the United States. So um, really, the, in the 1990s, there's a great deal of talk of a new economy. To some extent, this is based on the internet, computerization, high-tech business, but actually high-tech doesn't employ anybody. I mean, Microsoft, the biggest gigantic company, employed about, I don't know, 20,000 people or something. You know, General Motors at its peak employed hundreds of thousands. Um, so what you're really seeing is this shift from a manufacturing base uh, toward a service and retail and consumer economy. Uh, the problem with that, of course, is that manufacturing jobs are very well paid and have strong union protections, pensions, etc., health benefits, and many of these jobs in the newer areas are low paying and uh, have very few uh, benefits that go along with them. So uh, this comes to be a problem for the standard of living uh, in the American economy.